Hey guys, this is Jess. Uh, it's my first tutorial on how to actually figure out what's wrong with your frontal. Now, the first thing you can tell is that it's too big because it's bulging. So it's kind of like wearing an oversized hat. Um, this is like Kim wearing Chloe's frontal. And we know that's a big head size. <laughs> it's like a OJ Simpson head, <laughs> just, just serious. Um, next problem that you see is that if you pull it down forward, <sighs> um, make it fit, You'll actually see that it's plucked too much. Uh, that's what makes it look like too much lace, but it was actually hair hair before the stylist plucked the fuck out of it. So now it's like my frontal is balding and it really, you know, makes no sense because my real hair is balding. So it really defeats the purpose of wearing a frontal. I could have just, you know, went with wearing my real hair. As you see, I don't have a hairline. So that's why I need these. Um, I'm thinking that the stylist did this on purpose to me. Good afternoon, it's Jess with a mess and my news is real. Chanel West Coast rants outside of a nightclub where she cannot get in. Figures, Rob lets her off the couch and look what she does. <laughs> so sorry. It's been rumored that Terrence Howard is said to play the role of a cancer patient in the next film. Well, finally, because if you do the math, he only smoked 940 billion cigarettes in all of his roles leading up to this one. <laughs> At this point, what took the cancer role so long? Bernice Burgos rants on social media about her becoming a grandmother. She says everyone needs to mind their business and just watch out for the reality show. Okay. All right, listen up. Y'all need to mind y'all motherfucking business and stay out of mind, even though mine is on TV, which which makes it everybody else's business. But who's asking? Fuck y'all. Well, uh, congratulations, Granny. Uh, <laughs> now you have a title that will fit your name. <laughs> My grandmother's name is Bernice. Black China is said to land a reality show. Okay, so are these the only job openings available for TV nowadays? Because I swear if I see another unreality show. Hey, what's up? Um, I know y'all see these scamming ass accounts and everybody comments. Talk about, mm, come over here, boys and girls. I got something for you. If you click my bio, I'm going to make you come because I'm going to squirt in your mouth. Like, change it up. Don't lead with that. That's nasty. Nobody wants you to squirt in their mouth. Bitch, if you squirt in my mouth, I'm going to punch you dead in your pussy. Be smart and figure out what people like. Like, free plan Bs. You know what I'm saying? Can't argue with that. Because everybody ain't got $42 for one. Not that I know the exact price. I'm just saying. And then I don't think people should advertise squirting. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't think that squirting is really healthy for us. You know, it's almost like you got to rev up the engine to get it going. You know what I'm saying? And then I think it just takes so long to come out or whatever that I think it should stay in. And then we don't know what it is. For all we know, that could be spinal cord fluid that we conjuring up or fluid from around your knee. You know, so I think we may be dehydrating other parts of the body that we need. So good morning, everybody. Happy holidays to all of the good kids out there. Underneath this tree is empty because Ashton has been a naughty kid and he's not getting anything for Christmas. And Santa Claus ain't bringing him Jack. So a Santa Claus don't buy people gifts. That be people, mommy's buying them gifts. First of all, no, 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 no. Who told you that? I read in the newspaper. You don't read no damn newspaper. <laughs> For real. Where? I'm dead ass. You are, no, 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 no. I really did read while I was on the toilet, mommy. No, you didn't. You didn't read it. Yes, I did. You lying. Yes, I did. So what's the name of the goddamn newspaper? <laughs> Kids life. <laughs> a what? Kids life. Now you're making up shit. Come on, let's go to school. That's why Santa not bringing your bad ass anything. Santa Claus don't buy gifts. Whatever. Hey, what's up? Good morning. About to get my head done. Shut up. Um, don't you hate when somebody owe you money and you see them doing a bunch of other extracurricular financial shit like Christmas shopping? Yeah, I know the holidays are here. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. I gave you $40 on another holiday. Thanksgiving was a holiday. And when you asked me for that $40, I didn't say, gee whiz, I can't give it to you. I might not have enough for my turkey. Or damn, I can't do it. I might be just a couple cents short to buy the cheese for the Mac. I didn't do none of that. I just gave you the $50. So what you're telling me is, is levels to these holidays. And while Christmas is up here, Thanksgiving is down here. And you don't feel like you should pay me my $60 because you're a single mom. Bitch. You've been a single mom since you told him it was his. Stop playing. Then your grandmother just died. Well, I'm almost certain that my little $80 ain't gonna bring her back, so. Then go hit me with the, you really pressed over this $90? I gotta get presents for my kids. Bitch, fuck them kids, okay? They 18 and 21. At this point, they your peers, bitch. They not your kids no more. They your friends now. 
Good morning, it's Jess with the mess, and my news is real. Omarosa gets fired from the White House, and she's oh so surprised. Why? It's not the Black House. <laughs> so sorry, sorry. We asked Omarosa some questions that she was unable to answer. I can't imagine how you're feeling, uh, but when did you realize at that moment that you wanted to be black again? Like, when did you? Thank you so much, Omarosa. Last question. When do you think that moment is where you will stop breathing? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. That was actually really fucked up. Okay, Michelle renames herself as Kimberly. She says she's getting back to her natural self. Well, we'll be waiting forever because she's got some shit to do. She has to take a couple inches off the length of that head. Maximize that forehead like it was. Then she had her ribs removed to snatch her waist. Well, we can call Kevin Hart. He should have some spare ribs laying around. <laughs> Sorry, a couple. Chloe Kardashian reveals that she is pregnant. Chloe says Tristan will be the best father. Aw, where's his first baby? Hey, what's up, y'all? This this is crazy. As the time goes on, my hair gets stiffer and drier. And then Christmas shopping ain't helping it none. Okay, so maybe y'all can help me out. People are asking me to buy them shit, but the shit that they're asking me to buy them, I'm not gonna do it. I'm too honest of a person. I'm not gonna buy you something that doesn't look right on you. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not the type of friend, because technically, I just set you up. That's what it looks like. Mm -mm. That's not made for your body type. Let's get a nice hat. You know? Well, let me fill up your tank. You good on gas? Get the point? Okay, so my aunt, or as some of you would say, aunt, but I don't like saying that. It makes me feel like I have a pet insect. She goes, I want a coat for Christmas, but not just any coat. I want a doll baby peplum coat. But it's like, auntie, stop. You, you're an auntie, and you are built like an auntie. And no, not that fine single one. The one on the other side of the family that cook a lot. She like, what you mean you're not gonna buy it? Like, you're not built for that coat. So she goes, you're not built to be a comedian. I'm like, bitch, I guess you are, cause you built funny. Good evening, it's Jess with the Mess, and here in the studio live today, we have Nicki Minaj. How are you, Nicki? So we're just briefly gonna touch up on the Nicki Remy situation. What's going on with Remy Ma? How did that even come about? Wow, at this point, Jess, I don't even know why Remy bothers, like, to even come for me. As you know, I'm from Trinidad, Queens, New York, and, and she from the project. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just like so hot right now. But, but nah, no, on the real, like we both used to rock those thin ass bangs, but I decided to hang mine up and she decided to get the thick ass bang now, so. And we all know Remy is old, so that's why they call her Ma instead of just Remy. I mean, like she's Ma. And I know Pat bro had this for her, like, really, really, bitch, you just gonna come at me like that? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can't be a Barbie doll. Remy's a fucking Kenya doll. Good morning, it's Jess with the Mess, and my news is real. We're here today live in the studio with Nicki Minaj, and Nicki shares today with us her holiday freestyle. Let's hear it. Y'all. If I'm saying it and y'all my elves, I'm Saint Nick in this Christmas. Come through with that sack shoe, you can't get this on your wish list. If we talking stats, I'm at the top. Ass and tits is A1. All you bitches trying rap now, I'ma call y'all my great grandsons. I never fucked Dwayne, I never fucked Drake. But I call my niggas for backup. Let the doors up on that Lambo, just in case the bitch try act up. <laughs> That's all I got, like. <laughs> but I keep telling them, like, I'm the generous queen, like. Safari ain't right that, <laughs> like, you know? Well, actually you did <laughs> a long time ago. You just kind of like switched the words around. Actually, that's that's kind of what you've been doing for years now, you know? Saying the same things, just switching them around, you know? We've known that you've had sons since you came out, you know? Everything is like repetitive, you know? All your plaques and stats and your Lambos and all that, yeah, so. But it's okay. Early afternoon, it's Jess with the mess and my news is real. Fetty Wap shows us his vocals as he sings some old school songs. You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend. I just wanna know one thing. Are you fertile? Cause I'm just trying to have more kids. Yeah, baby. Lyrica Anderson claps back at a fan about a comment she made on her husband's black nail polish. Lyrica claps back. I'm not okay with it looking like you have two armpits in your icon pic. But everybody has two armpits. Love and Hip Hop's Miss Nikki Baby shows off her body for Floyd Mayweather. Ouch. <laughs> no, literally, ouch. That shit looked like it hurts. At this point, breathe already. <laughs> but Floyd's used to that. She looks stronger than some of the guys he's fought. <laughs> Sorry. Keisha Kayor shows us her impeccable style. Aw. Where are you going? She recently told Gucci Man that she wanted another baby. Where's it gonna fit? 
All right, so we discussing most successful artists in 2017. Let's go. Who you got? Carly B. Carly B or Cardi B? Cardi B. Okay, all right. All right. She putting off all the blacks, man. All she the put, blacks. She putting off all the blacks? Yes. Huh? Blacks. Yes. What you say? She black. No, 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 no. She not black. Oh, my She God. not black. I don't care. Uh-uh. How you want? What? She not black. She... Offset is black. Yeah. He, black is, as black as he can be. Okay? Okay. Cardi is not black. She, she grew up black. black. Okay? She black. She had the black she lifestyle. About... So she's black-ish. She, she ain't like black. Her last black. name is Almanzar. Oh. My nigga, she ain't black. You she black. Your last name, name Jackson. Jackson. Okay? Huh? Bernice Burgos and Tammy. Bernice Black. Oh, okay. Because she look a little well done. You think she black? Yeah. No. Tammy, your last name is Rivera. Mm. Talking about she naturally curly. Bitch, you naturally mixed up. With black. Well, if that's the case, I'm Spanish. Como te llamas, nigga? Huh? Early afternoon, it's Jess with the mess, and my news is real. Happy 39th birthday to John Legend, as his voice is 93. Oh... Uh... Uh, uh, you got me up so high uh. oh, Thank you, John Lewis Hamilton under fire for telling his nephew Boys don't wear princess dresses Well, they don't But I guess we have our young black sisters to thank for that Thanks, Jock and Young Thug Bow Wow sets down with Hollywood Unlocked As he lets the world know that he dated Kim Kardashian <laughs> Now, one thing we do have to consider, back in the day, Kim had no standards whatsoever. But even with that being said, I still don't believe him. I do. I don't put anything past Kim. Speaking of Bow Wow, did he ever get those seven M's put in his daughter's bank account for Christmas? Ah, that was rhetorical. Coolio gets heat after he turns down date with transsexual. The transsexual was heartbroken as she said they had a lot of similarities. Big dicks and Adam's apples, yeah! <laughs> Sorry, fuck. So, happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Um... We are in Vegas, right? And Chris decides to wear this. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Keep talking about shit cool. You got on a fucking sweatsuit in Nevada. That's the problem. And this bitch waterproof. Like, you look like you're ready for the fucking rain. We're in the desert, nigga. Huh? What you say? It's what? It's windy. Nigga, you about to blow the fuck away. You look like one of the... What the fuck you got on a book bag for? You look like you bought to pull a fucking parachute out of nowhere and fly out of a fucking helicopter. Like, what are you doing? I don't get it. Like, I know you had. And then what the fuck are those? I thought they was LeBrons. Do, but when I get closer, they Stephans. What the fuck is those? No, nah, ain't no new. Fuck you mean they new? You knew not to buy them. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it better be an extra pair of shoes and that bitch and an outfit. This nigga's crazy. Fuck you got practice later. This nigga want to play basketball so fucking bad. What you about to do? Unzipping that shit. What you got for him? Man, listen. Um, this this New Year's Eve Las Vegas party shit. And, and, and yeah, don't don't get me wrong. I'm getting money. Yeah, I am. But um, I like to keep my money. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't make my money to give it away. You know? So they got Chris Brown at Drace tonight. I'm thinking he gonna be generous on the ladies. This 170 for guys and 130 for women. He don't give a fuck about you bitches. I said 130. Huh? What you say? Boy, I got a question for ya. What the fuck is wrong with ya? That's why I'm going to Gucci shit, okay? Gucci is charging 100 for niggas and 30 for bitches, okay? And that's exactly what needs to be happening. He doing right. He know better. He ain't even the old Gucci, you know what I'm saying? This the new Gucci, you know what I'm saying? We don't need know him like that. We still getting to know him. Then he got crazy dress codes and shit. Like, you can't wear jeans with rips in it and tennis shoes and shit. We going to see a trap rapper. Why the fuck we can't dress trappish? Chris talking about I can't wear my polo shoes there? It's just like, why do you got those? You can't wear them nowhere. Happy New Year's, everybody. First of all, I just want to say hello to my little friend. But other than that, um, yesterday, I just want to let y'all know I made a pact to myself that my New Year's resolution was going to be no makeup. I might do a lash, but no makeup all year. No fucking wigs, no nothing. New Year, new me all day. Like, if you have a New Year's resolution, stick by that shit for real. Because one thing, you have to live in your truth. And I'm living in my truth. And bitch, I'm bald here. Like, it is what it is. Like, and I'm gonna be bald for a while. You know what I'm saying? Forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Miracle drops, all this shit. I tried it. It works. But who the fuck cares? Like, just be you. This is me. This is me. I am she. Like, happy new year, bitch. New year, new me. So don't try, hoe. Bitch. 
Hey, what's up, IG? So, um, I tried this makeup thing again, and I think, I think I'm loving it. I tried it. I definitely tried it with the lip, like, all right, bitch, who do you think you is? Come on now. But anyway, I tried this Dunkin' Donuts thing, because Chris is a Dunkin' Donut fanatic. So I wanted to see what the hype was about. So I go there, right? Feeling a little breakfasty. Man, I get my food. And this is what they got for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dunkin' Donuts out here passing out Barbie doll pillows. This shit about thick and soggy is a... Hey, uh, where's your little shot? Why go to McDonald's and get a McMuffin when Dunkin' Donuts out here selling knee pads? Now, you know I'm gonna eat it because I got the munchies, but... I'm saying, do better. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I know I said my New Year's resolution was no wigs, no makeup. I don't have on makeup. I do have on a wig, you know? Um, I think... I was a little too high when I said I wasn't going to wear any wigs because after that video I did, I went outside and, um, you know, nobody knew who I was. Um, somebody had tried to offer me some change and um, that's when I knew like, oh, damn, I, I can't do this, <laughs> you know. So I'm like, no, I don't need any change. I'm a comedian. I actually just did all deaf comedy jam. So he says, <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Good one. So I didn't like that too much, you know. And then the people that did notice me still wanted to take pictures. And I think it took for me to see myself on somebody else's phone to know that that's not what I wanted to look like, you know. So don't live in your truth if you look like that, you know what I'm saying? Because the truth hurts. Hurts like a bitch. So I'm going to just go ahead back to living a lie. You know what I'm saying? That ain't never hurt nobody. Everybody living lies anyway. Y'all seen reality TV lately? Huh? Shit. Good morning, it's Jess with the mess, and my news is real. Tamar and Vince were seen together for the holidays. Paparazzi kept asking Vince, were they together? He responded, God is good. God is definitely good, just like all that food you just ate. But I didn't ask you that, all y'all together. Vince uttered, don't you see I'm on the phone? You're not on the phone. You don't even have any more minutes. Like I said, God is good. Close your mouth! Karuchi was spotted on vacation with her new boo, Victor Cruz. Karuchi! Do you not know that tracks 29 through 82 is about you on Heartbreak on a Full Moon? Speaking of Heartbreak on a Full Moon, nobody in the world has finished listening to that entire album yet. Amy Winehouse's father says her spirit visits him. If he was thinking about going to rehab, he definitely should go, go, go. So sorry. French Montana and Evelyn Lozada spent New Year's together. Now French, let me guess. Another best friend. <laughs> but I'm loving the crossover from athletes to artists, from basketball wives to loving hip hop. <laughs> hey, what's up y'all? I was just thinking about some of the most memorable moments of 2017. And one in particular was when um everybody thought Future was saying, wiggle, 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 wiggle. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of y'all right now still didn't even know he didn't say wiggle. He said wicked. But it's just like, how could you come that close to saying wiggle and not say it? That's one of my favorite words, wiggle. One of my dumbest moments of 2017 was when I thought that Migos was spelled with an A at the beginning. So I thought they were the Amigos. I thought them niggas was just naming themselves after their bond, that they were really good friends, you know? Because Amigos is friends in Spanish, for those who don't know. But Chris is like, nah, them niggas is brothers. I'm like, no, they not. Because then they would be the hermanos, but they're the Amigos. He's like, nah, it's Migos without the A.